Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel for today's video. Oh, I am so excited. I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the brand new Odin's Eye Nature Elf series, which is their new collection for summer 2020. They came out with one big eyeshadow palette, three little mini guys, and then a new highlighter palette. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the collection and see a demo of each of the products, then just keep watching. Fun fact, this video is two weeks in the making. <laughs> so two weeks ago before I got married, I filmed tutorials for three of the palettes and then, you know, I got married and life went by and whatever, whatnot. So here I am two weeks later, finally sitting down to finish up this review. So I've had some time with the stuff. So I'm a little bit late. There's a lot of great tutorials and reviews already up but I thought I would add. I have worked with Odin's Eye in the past. They have sponsored some videos. This one is not sponsored at all, though they did gift the items to me, which I am so very grateful for because their stuff is so cute. If you do plan on picking up anything from the brand, I do have a discount code. If you type in Morgan Turner at checkout, you will get 10% off. I do receive a small commission from that, so if you don't want to do that, then that's fine. But you save money that way. This collection is inspired by the elemental spirits in Norse mythology. So if you don't know, you know, it's an indie brand based in Sweden. I love it. They say that the design of this new series continues with the same pattern as the first Alva collection. Let's just dive into the palettes so that you can see what we're working with. So we'll start off with the big guy over here, the one that I think we were all really excited about. This is the Alva 2. So they do have an Alva 1, but the Alva 2, you guys, this was such a fun addition because it is so bright. They don't have anything like this in their line. I was dying to get my hands on it because it's just so fun. So this guy is $31. At $21, they have their Alva mini palettes. So we have the Alva mini ocean palette which looks like that we have some blue tones and then some warm brown tones over here then we have the mini forest palette which I love this one this one is like a true fairy palette to me you have greens blues really fun pink tones as well I love it we have the mini sky palette this is the one that I'm currently wearing on my eyes today and these are more purple tones you know I had to finish off with the purple tones they also have a new highlighter palette. This guy is $33 and here are the shades here. So the layout of today's video, we're going to start off with the big guy that most of you are going to be excited about, the Alba 2 palette, and I will do a demo on that and then we will get into the three minis and then of course this guy and then I will finish off with the tutorials of these because I filmed them a little bit differently. Anyways, you'll find out. Let's go. Alba 2 palette. Like I said, this is $31 for USA. Online, they say it's the second generation eyeshadow palette in the Alba series. The color scheme covers warm and cool colors. The varied rainbow color scheme is able to cater to versatile looks. So what they seem to really be marketing is that this has an even mixture of warm and cool tones. So these two rows over here, of course, are going to be super cool toned. And then these here are warmer toned guys. And I think this is a very very well thought out rainbow palette. So you're getting four different textures here and that I think is what Odin's Eye does best is their textures and the dimensions that you get from their formula. So you have seven mattes, five diamond glitter eyeshadows, two large sequin eyeshadows, and two metallic. So they do have a pressed glitter formula in here so if that turns you off they are these guys right here. I'm not a huge glitter eyeshadow person. I'll do it occasionally just for a little extra glitz and glam but I don't want to make it an everyday habit because it is technically not eye safe. All right, so quickly, I'm just gonna tell you what I think about this palette, then I'll get into the demo. That one kind of explains everything that you need to know. For the most part, I think this palette is really great. I love how unique it is compared to the rest of their line. With these more pastel-y shades, especially, you're gonna want to pat as opposed to sweep to really build up that color. I think they do have a really nice base of a formula, so everything's blendable, everything's quite pigmented. I would say this palette in particular is lacking some depth. I know you have these shades right here, but I needed some more depth, 
especially with the blues. You only have this one and because this is a shimmer shade, it is a little bit more difficult to work with. The shimmer shades are gonna benefit from applying with a finger. They do have a bit of a sticky texture to them. So with a brush, it just doesn't quite catch onto the brush hairs as nice as a finger would catch it. And glitter glue also, you're gonna get the most out of the shadows. They do work dry. Every look that I did today was using a dry brush or my fingers, but of course, these are gonna stand out when you add the extra goodness to it. But for $31, I think it's a very fair price and it's a really neat rainbow palette and it's easy to create looks if you just work down this way or if you wanna do something different and challenge yourself. Because it's designed by depth, you can also create a look based on depth, which I think is really neat. So overall, really liking this palette. So let's get you guys into the tutorial for this palette. So I'm quickly applying my eyeshadow base. I'm just using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which is a little dry. <laughs> I need to buy a fresh one. I couldn't help myself for this look, so we had to play in the blue and green sides. I feel like blues and green really tell the story of the quality in a palette. With a Kaleidos S1 brush, we are taking Aquamarine. For being a pastel color, this shade is very impressive. I get a lot of immediate pigmentation. My suggestion though for pastel is don't just sweep it on your eyelid. First press it in, especially on the base. Utilize the base and then you can kind of sweep it out but you're gonna want as much pigmentation as possible and that's how you do it next we're going into blue peafowl i'm using a luxie 229 and it's going to go into this color oh uh, these colors kind of blend out to be very very similar i'm not gonna lie i much prefer the aquamarine i feel like it holds its color better like this one as you can see it's a powder blue but it's not quite as pigmented as you see in the pan so again you're gonna want to pat that in finally for a little bit of fun we're going in with green tea. I'm using a Refer 14 brush and again this is still a pastel shade so you're still going to want to pat to apply. Now this shade throughout this whole look you are definitely going to have to reapply and rebuild it up. It is not more sheer but it can kind of blend away as you mix it with other products so just be prepared to go back into this shade. So I'm putting it on the outer part and then all along the lower lash line and blend it pretty low. This really is such a cool look you guys honestly kind of like this if you used these matte shades all over the lid as well this would be a really cool pastel look but i had to play with the shimmers so we're going in with blue bubble so this one i would say is more so of a satin shade it's a little bit lackluster on the eyelid than what i think i'm used to from odin's eye but there is a place for it for sure like this would be a great inner corner highlight but i do wish there was kind of a more glittery blue just for the eye look that I want to create, not necessarily because I'm disappointed. I would suggest also doing this look maybe in cut crease form. I just love the blown out simple looks. I can't help it. Even though I do cut creases sometimes, there's something about a blown out look that I love. Next, I'm going to take Forest Dream. So the consistency of these shimmers definitely need to be used with a finger. They have like almost a bit of a sticky or tacky feeling to them where you just know the finger's going to work best because if you use a brush, it's just not going to pick up on the brush right and it's not going to apply to the skin as well. So you're going to get the most out of using a finger with these. So finally, this is going to be the hardest part of the look. I'm taking a BK Beauty 207. You want a dense brush. We're going into deep sea. So this step could give you fallout. Just the nature of shimmery navies are kind of hard to work with. I'm using this shade to add depth to the look. And again, like I just said, the shimmer is going to apply better with a finger, but because of the precision that we need, you need a really dense brush to make sure you're picking up product and are able to work it out onto the skin because it's going to be a little bit more difficult to blend. For shimmery navies, it works best on top of deeper matte shadows to blend them out. Using them as an actual contour shade for precision, it gets a bit difficult. I'm not going to lie about that. So I'm just patting it in, trying to get as little fallout as possible and as much as the product onto the lid as I can and kind of mapping out this shape. See? So a little bit on the lower part of the outer lash line and a little bit over the crease for some depth. The brush I'm going to take is the brush that I used for green tea. I put a little bit of green tea on my brush. We're gonna work on blending this out so it looks pretty seamless. I do want to apply a little bit more of Forest Dream to blend it in together. 
This side needs more forest green too. Ah, oh, isn't that so pretty? It's really coming together. I'm taking the shimmery green, green elves. This is going to be the inner corner color. And this would be gorgeous all over the lid for this look, but I'm just gonna use it or just a little element of green. Final step is going to be going back into Forest Dream. I'm using another dense brush. This is the refer number 12. And I'm just gonna put this along the lower lash line. And this is really gonna make the eyes pop and bring the blue together. And then finally take a little bit more of green tea and blend it out underneath so that the green is popping through. I want the green to stay consistent and vibrant in this whole look. And that's it for shadow. Next up is liner and lashes. So I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say about the Alba 2. Let's move on to the little mini Alba 2 palettes. So they came out with three. Now each of these are kind of designed the same in that you have the four single shades right here and then you'll have a big circular one that is a split pan. Now the split pan actually has a very special kind of glitter celestial formula. Not true glitter, but really sparkly and pretty. It's not a pressed glitter. I think these are super cute. One thing that I noticed with the mini sky which is the more purple one the center shades were a little bit more chunky so you needed to use a finger otherwise it would fall all over my face and all of these i think are very shimmery you do have one to two mattes in each of the palettes before these palettes the look you're going to get is just really shimmery not a lot of depth so the mini ocean palette i really liked i was very impressed by it i don't really love the cool and warm tone mixtures that they have going on here i just think these two are just too warm to complement the other shadows i wish they would have just gone all crazy blue for this palette in my personal opinion but I do really like the shades in here. The second tutorial will be the mini forest palette. I think as far as Odin's Eye and kind of their brand this is my favorite to go with their brand. This is a true fairy palette. I think this one might be my favorite of the three minis because it's just so cute. I will say the colors pulled a lot more green on my eyelid especially this blue right here. I was expecting something more turquoise. I ended up getting something more green which the palette is all green packaging wise so I'm completely fine with that. I just think this one is the softest and most fairy like color. And then the mini sky. Now you guys know I love this one. I'm biased because purple is my absolute favorite eyeshadow color and of the looks I created this is the favorite look that I created and I really like how you have a gold in here. You can kind of warm up the purples. It's very complimentary to these colors. The only thing I didn't like was I felt like in here in particular the middle shade wasn't that great. It was a little bit chunky but I mean you guys this look is so pretty. So even though maybe it's not my favorite, it's probably the one I would grab for the most. But overall, these are really solid. And if you're looking for that dimension that I think Odin's Eye has, that's very special as far as like the glitters and the shininess and the metallicness, these are a really fun way to go, especially if you enjoy the formula. So I did a look with each of these palettes. I'm just gonna throw on some music and you can watch the tutorials if you would like. If not, you can fast forward through them. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so it's time to finish up with the Alva 2 Highlights Palette. This is their second palette. I liked their first one. I don't think they have the best highlight formula in the world, but they do have very unique colors that I do enjoy. So this one, you get a variety of different finishes and textures here, and I think this palette really does complement the collection as a whole. So if you purchase the items from the collection, these colors are gonna go well with them. So these aren't colors that I would probably use every day. The only color that I can see myself using more so on an everyday basis is Gnome right here. It's a little bit more champagne-y yellow, which this is such a good highlight, you guys. It is so smooth and shiny. I really like it. These two highlights up here, not as crazy as a fan of. I think the blue is a little bit too chunky for me. It's different than these bottom two formula wise, and this one is like a glitter formula, so if you don't like glitter as a highlight, you're not going to like this. See how that reflection that sachet. This color would be gorgeous all over the lid. I definitely think it's a color that can be utilized and it can go with any base shade honestly. It's really stunning but for me as a highlighter I wouldn't use it. I do like this shade right here a lot. It's a little bit more pinky purpley. It's the main highlight that I have on. This glow is actually this shade right here but I really like this shade because it complements pink and purple looks without being really obnoxious and blinding. So it's up to you whether or not you think you need another highlight palette. I don't think it's bad and I like the variety that you're getting in here but for me where Odin's eye kills it is in the eyeshadow palettes and I think that these are so fun. <laughs> All right so final roundup thoughts. I mean I think if you're going to get anything from the collection it's got to be the Alva 2 palette. I think this one is just so fun. It's so unique and if you really want to play and get different looks this is a great way to go. However there's nothing wrong with these little mini palettes. If there's a color story that really speaks to you, go for it. Like I said, if you really want that Odin's Eye ethereal kind of vibe, I would go with the Mini Forest palette. I think it is stunning. Everything about this brand is so well thought out. It's so detailed. The packaging, I mean, is incredible. I'm so happy that this brand exists and I'm more than happy to give them shout outs because we always complain that brands are not coming out with anything new and innovative or anything. Like just the whole theme of this, I didn't know I needed it, but I needed it. <laughs> So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.